Welcome to the Business Book Awards Black Lives Matter author interview series. Hello, I'm with Thomas Opong today. Um, Thomas's book, Working in the Gig Economy, How to Thrive and Succeed When You Choose to Work for Yourself, was shortlisted in the Business Book Awards Startup Inspiration category in 2019. Thomas is an incredibly prolific author. Apart from that book, he's also got another 15 books that he's authored. Um, so, Thomas, how did, how did you start on your um, on your journey, you say that what you do um, is give science-based answers to problems in life. So, so where did that come from, and how did you start on that on that uh, trajectory? Uh, I think I've, I've been on a journey to 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 discover myself for some time now. Uh, uh, I think I, I started blogging about ten years ago about you know small businesses and of course ideas about how to do better and, and how to be able to find the best business ideas to be able to build a career. So over the last years, I feel uh, that journey has, has, has been, you know, uh, helped me in a way to be able to expand what I do and to be able to build a career uh, for myself as a writer. So uh, along the way, I have kind of diversified the whole process in a way. So instead of just limiting myself to just what, what uh, ideas or what, what tools can help small businesses, uh, I've also expanded into into how people uh, can help themselves, how people can grow as as individuals, how people can grow as professionals. So I have diversified in that way to then to make sure that at least I I build myself, I consistently grow, adapt, and then grow and reinvent myself to make sure I'm still relevant even you know in the years to come. So your your many books, do you? I mean, do you do you write one a year? Do you do you just write them as they come to you as new ideas? Um, 16 books is an awful lot to have out there. Um, I think over the year, because I write a lot on the blog, uh, I think some of them is what I've repurposed because, because there's, there's so much content on, 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 the, on, my, on my website. I think since 2009, it's probably about probably 6,000 6, posts on the, on the platform. Wow. <laughs> so, so what I do is that I repurpose some of them. So, so based on how, how to find an idea, uh, how to how to become an entrepreneur, or how to market the business, or how to grow yourself as a person. So all these content that that are just probably very timeless that can stay help people even going forward. Uh, I've repurposed some of all of them to make sure that at least people can still find find them and take them with them, even as they leave the website, or even as they so that it won't just be limited to just my website, but people can have books with them that they can read consistently to then build themselves or to grow their businesses. That is that is actually one of the most brilliant things about um, about writing generally, but about being about um, having books is that you can repurpose material you've already written, or you yeah. can turn your book content into into repurpose it and put it turn it into blogs and other things. So yes. yeah, you're the you're obviously the expert in doing that. Um, Thomas, can I ask you if, uh, if, if the, I mean, I know Black Lives Matter has been going on for a very long time as a movement, but um, this recent um, upsurge of visibility in it due to the horrific death of George Floyd, has that, has that impacted on you, your business at all? Uh, I, I think what, what, what it has done is that, uh, at least it's, it's, it's made me think about, I mean, what I can do more, obviously, obviously, I'm doing a lot in my in my capacity as an as a black entrepreneur to make sure that other people uh, can also progress in their careers in that direction. But but I think what is is focusing now uh, now at the moment is that it, it's 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 making it easier for even institutions now to even think about what they're doing or what they could do or how they can they can improve their processes to make sure that I mean it's it's an all inclusive process. So people with knowledge in all diverse backgrounds can have opportunity to advance their careers. So that is what uh, it's, it's, it's really brought to light at the moment, to, you know, institutions, government institutions, companies and small businesses or even individuals who work, you know, with, with other people in that direction are also, you know, having, having, having that, that, that sense of uh, uh, awakening to then do more, not because obviously some of them are doing more because but, but still there's room for improvement. So if they can still, I mean, open up and open up, have an open mindset where they can, you know, be an inclusive company or an inclusive institution, then, then people would have opportunity to advance themselves. I mean, in all directions and in all fields uh, and, you know, in all races. 
do, do you do you think that um, people of colour and um, black people are um, are taking advantage of um, the ability to work for themselves to be entrepreneurs as much as as other people? Are they put off by anything? Um, I, th I think initially, because as a business person, uh, some of the some of the things that people need to grow, uh, it's it's. It's, it's a source of a source of capital. I mean, some some kind of finance to be able to then grow your business or expand. Even if you're self-employed, I mean, it's 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 a it's an opportunity to then grow grow to become a, a full-fledged business or even a registered business. But if you don't have access to these resources, especially capital, when you feel like your business has to grow and you don't have access to them because you feel like you're marginalized or you feel like you're, you 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 know you're, the process. It's, it's mean or the process is being raised to make to make it e even more difficult for you to then have access to those capital because of where you come from or because of your background or because of your economic situations and all of that that, that makes it uh difficult for you to then move forward because it's not just that obviously if you also have don't have the connections if you don't have the because uh, the social capital you don't have the social support to then be able to move forward it, it makes it uh, even more difficult to, to, to then grow yourself to become to become a, a better person or to become the kind of entrepreneur you want to become. So, to those limitations, uh, people feel that 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 is very much a hindrance for their progress, which is why I mean people of color are finding it more difficult to then uh, make progress in the entrepreneur entrepreneurial journeys. So what? what can um we who are already there who are privileged how how what's the best way to reach out and help um those who feel that they are you know that they're challenged in in getting into the that sort of world uh i, I think one thing i feel strongly about it is uh uh mentorship because that obviously uh people can uh, most businesses or people of influence can't just give away money to people to then because go and do you know whatever you want because obviously every every business or every venture has to go through a due process so so but, but mentorship is, is what I think that that can help a lot of people in that direction because when you open opportunities for people to learn from you for people to know what works in you know in in, in the real business world or what doesn't work it, it, it makes it even more easier for them to know what steps to take or which approaches and techniques and tools they can use to be able to advance their careers. So that I feel that uh, people of influence won't have uh, a lot of financial investment in that direction. I mean, th that, that is something people can easily do. But you don't you don't have to put forward a lot of money towards that. You can you can actually open up up for people to then, or you can learn from me. This is what I've done to be able to do better in the in the, you know in the past. This is what you can also do, you know, to advance your career. Or this is what you do to to help yourself, even as you to try to 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 be better as a business person. And do you think books are a good way to reach people as well to um, let them know about opportunities and ways they can um, start their own businesses and, you know, take those forward? Definitely. I, I feel books, books, it, I mean, books are some of the, the, the most, most important tools anybody can, can have. Uh, I, I, I read a lot because of what I do, I write, so I tend to read a lot every now and then. So I feel that if, if information can be packaged in a way that would make it accessible for anyone, uh, regardless of race, to be able to assess what works and what doesn't, I mean, that, that is a perfect way to, to, to get information out there to help other people. So at the Business Book Awards, we've, um, we've, we've uh, championed diversity in the broadest of forms over the last couple of years. Um, do you feel that we should uh, continue doing the same? Do you think we should focus on, um, on, on uh, more specific areas um, as well, perhaps? What, 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 do you, what would your advice for us be going forward? Um. I think I think in as much as you'd be, I mean, you're doing everything you can at the moment, but but probably one thing you could probably do going forward, if you feel that I mean people are not being represented in a way that you feel it, that they should, uh, probably a new category could be created. You know, I mean, it, it's 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 something to look into, a, a category that 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 can highlight what other people from different races, or other people from different uh, backgrounds are doing. To help themselves or to help their communities or to help their locals or their or or people are doing to help 
to help even the, the, the people in the, in the society themselves. So that, that can be something else that can also bring more people to light or be more people to then show what they're doing or what they are, they are, they are doing for themselves or what they're doing for their communities or what they're doing to, to advance their businesses. So that is something that can be looked into. That's, that's really interesting. So, I mean, would, would you suggest that we could actually have an award for authors based on the color of their skin or based on what they're doing to, um, to, to help their communities? Probably based on what they're doing to, to help their community. It could, it could, it, uh, because if, if it's sidelined or if it's made something as a different category, it could be then be another thing that you, or be a separating people who are you know, into different backgrounds that, that can be, that is, it's a dicey uh, area to go to. So probably people, people of color who are doing significantly well can be recognized for, for their efforts. Uh, I mean, what they're doing to help communities or what they're doing to help the, the country in, in that direction. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's really interesting and helpful. So, so what, what are your next plans, Thomas? Have you got another book um, on the, um, it being written at the moment or what, what are you, what, where are you heading for now? Um, at the moment, I think I'm, I'm focusing on uh, uh, growing, growing, of course, the, the, the projects I have going at the moment. Uh, I, of course, I, I write prolifically, I mean, on, 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 on medium, medium too, recently. So, so that is what I'm focusing on. But, but I've been thinking about another book. Uh, I've already been in talk with another agency about, about, about a book, but, but I, we've, not, we've not concluded on, on anything yet. But I'll, I'll definitely write, write a new book uh, in, a, in a year or two. That's great. And was it was it useful to you? Was it helpful to you to be shortlisted in the Business Book Awards? Oh, it was. I think it 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 made it even more, more easier for me to to reach out to uh, I mean other publishers, other 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 you know media houses, other other people who didn't know about my work. I mean, I think uh, apart from I mean the event itself, I think it brought brought a huge sense of accomplishment for me, you know, as a person. Because obviously, if you're writing and you know that your work is being recognised in that direction, it makes it gives you that kind of motivation you know, and an inspiration to know that yeah, of, of you can still keep moving because what you're doing is helping uh, other people or it's, it's, it's being recognized. That's brilliant. Thank you so much for talking to me, Thomas. Thank you so much for inviting me.